here, we are required to solve for theta in the interval of 0 to 360 degrees when given the equation of 4 sine square theta plus 5 sine theta plus 1 equals 0. Notice that this is a quadratic equation with trigonometry as variables. If you can't see it, imagine sine theta as a single parameter x. We then have a clear quadratic equation of 4x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 0. Next, we can perform factorization to become 4x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals 0. And solve that x equals to negative 1 over 4 or x equals to negative 1. This is where the Casio class whisk comes in handy. We can use it to find the answers for the factorization. First, press menu and then scroll down twice. Press the negative sign button to select option A. Press 2 to select solving polynomial equation and then press 2 again to select solving quadratic equation. Enter the value of 4 as the coefficient of x squared, 5 as the coefficient of x and 1 as the constant. After keying in these values, pressing equal once gives you the first solution of x equals to negative 1 over 4. Pressing equal again gives you the second solution of x equals to negative 1. So now, we have sine theta equals to negative 1 over 4 and sine theta equals to negative 1. To solve sine theta equals to negative 1, we can refer to the graph of sine and find that for angles within 0 to 360 degrees, the ratio of negative 1 corresponds to angle 270 degrees. To solve sine theta equals to negative 1 over 4, let's inverse the trigonometry to find the basic angle that generates the ratio of negative 1 over 4. To find this basic angle, we need to arc sine the absolute value of the ratio. So on the Casio class whiz, press shift followed by the sine button, then press shift again and open bracket to insert the modulus column. Then insert negative 1 over 4 into the bracket and press equal. You will see that the basic angle is 14.48 degrees. Based on our knowledge of ASTC of the four quadrants, negative ratio of sine lies in the third and the fourth quadrant. And the basic angle lies between the angle line and the horizontal. We can then solve that theta is either 194.48 degrees or 345.52 degrees.